Okay, today we are going to take this kind of finished up little summer display of these fairies and homes. And it's done, I tried to use mostly pink and yellow because this was for summertime. And there's a few pieces that are faded and done and it definitely needs to be updated for the fall. So we are going to do this for Halloween. All of a sudden, as soon as I start filming, there's a thousand little bugs. So excuse the bugs if they come through the camera, but I am going to switch out a few of these pieces and show you how you can update your fairy gardens for the fall. So this pink and yellow piece needs to be removed. And then this fairy will also go, there's a little uh, hollyhock here that I want to keep. Some of these are just old weeds that need to be pulled, but also these sort of bright and shiny steps here need to go because that doesn't sort of fit with fall. And the same with this yellow fairy and this yellow house. So we're going to remove all of that. Now this neutral colored house may stay, but the butterfly above it, for sure that needs to, to go. There is a little bunny back here that's actually a weather checker. I, I may do something with that, but this house I will probably keep in the display, but we're going to change the sort of backdrop here so that it has a little bit more green. Okay, so what I did was I pulled out all of the old summer stuff. I left this hollyhock that will grow in the spring and I added this log back here so that it would give a little bit of stability to this house as well as for this greenery. I wanted to have something more green because everything is kind of fading as fall sets in. So now we want to make this look more like it is for Halloween. So we definitely want a few more pieces. I usually put a door here. And so I usually have a bigger door, but that doesn't really go well uh, with the size of this house. Some people don't mind having very small little doors like this, and then a big, big door like this, but proportionally, this does not work for me. So I am gonna switch this out and put this smaller door here, again, in the fall colors. So you wanna sort of switch things more to something that is more a rust color that matches with these stones here. There's a little pumpkin. Now we need, of course, some characters too and some extra additions. So depending on kind of how spooky you want to go, you could put a little sign there over the pumpkin and you can put some other little pumpkins over here, kind of in the walkway. And maybe you want to also add a few steps. Let me get a few pathway steps to put here and maybe a little mushroom. Okay, so we definitely want something that leads with these pumpkins up to this door. So I don't really want to use those shiny pieces anymore because that sort of doesn't go so well. Oops, with fall. So I'm going to add these in and maybe even one here. If I can, maybe. And it goes from there to there. And then of course we need some characters too. So I usually put something next to this tree here. I don't know how well this is going to look, but let's see if we add a little purple here with the girl next to her chair. Oops. Again, you've got to play around and see what works. And I don't mind if she kind of hides in there a little bit. Oh, that looks very cozy. And instead of the butterflies, you may want to put some little bird or something somewhere so it looks like he's flying. I like that, that looks super cute. And I may put a little sign here, I don't have that. But a few mushrooms also never hurt 
just don't go with, you know, bright pink or um, something that doesn't match with your display. Goodness, these don't want to stick in there, do they? There. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have watered this down. There. Well, that doesn't look good. All right. Stay little mushroom. Uh oh. There we go. There. Those look super cute. Okay. I'm not sure I like this over here. The purple doesn't go. You could always add another super teeny tiny door over here. That's cute. All right, that looks great. Now, if you want to go more spooky, you could always add some little bones or skull or something back in there, but this definitely looks much more like fall. And you can always take some native flowers that you might have. Our local broom is growing again and blooming, so you could tuck those in. Now that's not going to stay, but it's going to add a bit of depth and color for a few days. Yes, I like that. Sorry about the bugs, guys. They're just awful right now this morning. But that is a nice way that you can switch up a small area and make it for fall. And of course, in this little pumpkin uh, jack-o'-lantern, it's ceramic and you could put a little tea light or something. I don't know, that skull doesn't seem to match there. Maybe I'll put the skull on top of the house. What do you think of that? I don't know, that doesn't look right either. Maybe next to the, there, maybe there, something like that. No, I don't like that either. I guess it's good there. I should have left it alone. All right, I will add a few more things and show you a look when I have it all finished. Okay, I have this door here open a little bit so that I can fit this gnome right there. I like when it looks like they're coming out of their house. And then I have this other fairy that could work right here, possibly. But that might mean we move this little skull. Maybe I put her there and move the skull up. Well, maybe it can stay back there. Let's see. I have also this really other, I have this nice twisty piece here. I almost wanted this one to kind of accentuate the door here. So it's nice to put some added sort of dimension to your piece. Ooh, I like that. Oops, sorry, I drooped you. Okay, there. That's good. And now I want an even more spooky guy. And then over here, I got rid of that door or what did I have there? A door? A house? I didn't like it. So I put the pathway up to this house instead. And I want this kind of spooky guy because he has orange eyes and it is for Halloween. So maybe he could kind of sit in here and greet everyone coming up to the house. Yes, yes. That looks nice and full now. So you get the whole thing of this fellow is going to greet you. You're going to go up the stairs and go to this house. And then the bird is flying ahead. Maybe there'll be a sign here. I haven't got that done. And a light in the jack-o'-lantern. And the little fairy with her house. And another skull. And some pumpkins and mushrooms. Extra greenery. And then we also have this door and the gnome. Very nice. Small little display. This area, probably from here to here, is about two feet and then from the top, it's maybe another two feet wide from the back to the front, like from this log back here up to this uh, spooky guy up here. So not a huge area, but you can make a nice little Halloween fairy garden, well, gnome garden, miniature display. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back again next week.